Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife review. This time we'll be looking at the Zero Tolerance ZT0095. Now this video is a supplement to my written photo review that can be found on Through My Lens, and there's a link in the description box to that written photo review. I would invite you to go ahead and, and check that out because it's going to have a lot more uh, details and specifications, some great photographs too. Uh, this video again, just a supplement designed just to get a little video footage of the knife. Uh, out there for the community. Now the ZT0095 is not a new knife. There have been uh, several versions of this knife released by Zero Tolerance in the last couple of years. Uh, right now probably the most uh, prevalent version is the ZT0095BW for blackwash. Um, when I saw the knife there were things I liked about it but the blackwash finish really just isn't uh, one of my favorites. I see the appeal, it's just not for me. Um, I did see that ZT had released a sprint run version of the knife. This one, uh, this is the ZT0095 S90V BLK. Uh, it's basically the same knife that you're seeing there, only it's given a DLC coating, and I will do a separate review on that uh, that you can find uh, both on Through My Lens as well as the Through My Lens YouTube channel here on YouTube. Uh, but in researching the knife, when I found the DLC version, uh, I, you know, I kind of said, well, Zero Tolerance's normal mode of operation is to do a plain version of the knife without any coatings before they do any fancy coatings like the black wash or the DLC. Uh, so I you know, did some searching to find if there was a, a, a more plain version, uh, and sure enough there was, but it wasn't released here in the United States. This is a Russia market exclusive. Uh, apparently there is a very vibrant uh, strong knife market in Russia, and uh, I'm sh you know obviously I don't know all the details behind this, but my guess is that distributors, dealers uh, with zero tolerance uh, wanted a, a a knife exclusive to their market for their customers, uh, and they got this fantastic knife, uh, the ZT0095. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think this one's actually called the ZT0095. S35VN uh, because it's got S35VN blade, blade steel. I think that's the actual official name of it, uh, but I just call it the GT0095 because it doesn't have any finish. It's not the black wash. It's not the uh, the black. It's just the 0095. So uh, let's talk about it. Uh, it's got uh, titanium handle scales on both sides of the knife that have been given a stone wash finish. Uh, like that a lot. They're they're attractive. The stone wash is less likely to show, uh, you know, normal wear, uh, so that's good. I've had a lot of knives uh, come and go that have titanium handle scales on both sides, and I normally don't keep them because one, uh, they're heavy, uh, and two, the the uh, the titanium handle scales don't have any traction, so they can be slick and. When I get a knife, I normally want a knife that I can use in a defensive, uh, uh, a defensive purpose uh, uh, if the need arises, and uh, a knife that uh, is heavy and you don't like to carry and is slick and can come out of your hands real easy doesn't really fit that, uh, that kind of mode of operation for me. But this knife, um, you will see the handle scales have some uh, have some uh, facets to it, some uh, some contours uh, ground into it, uh, which helps lock it in the hand. It's also very ergonomic. You'll see it's uh, it's curved like your hand and locks right in. Uh, uh, it's very easy to hold on to. It's not going anywhere, uh, and you'll see this kind of thumb ramp that's uh, that's in the, the the blade here at the top of the blade on the spine. Uh, that's a real natural place for the for the thumb to lock into and rest. This is this is a great knife for for EDC cutting tasks. The blade itself is a, a relatively thin blade stock for ZT. They normally use very thick blade stock. Uh, this is a little thinner, so it's going to be a great slicer for EDC tasks and for sure uh, can be used uh, in a defensive uh, operation if need be. From a size perspective, let me bring in another zero tolerance knife. The, uh, the ZT0562 uh, carbon fiber. Kind of hard to line them up perfectly, but the, 
The 0095 here should be just a little bit longer. That blade uh, is uh, just a little bit longer. I think it's 3.6 inches. Um, uh, so it's uh, I do like the, the length of the blade. Again, very suitable uh, if the knife were to be used for defensive purposes. Um, <clears throat> it's got some of the features on it that have become standard uh, ZT features on knives now um, that have made you know their their releases in the last couple of years so great. Uh, one being the KVT ball bearing system. Uh, that combined with the fact that Zero Tolerance has really in the last several years gained a lot of experience making flippers. They know how to do a detent. Um, so they know how to make a knife that flips really, really well. Good detent. The uh, KVT ball bearing system uh, that uh, is a, a patented exclusive thing to Kai ZT. Um, those two things make for a knife that just is a wonderful, wonderful flipper. This flips excellent. It's not quite as good of a flipper as the 0562. That's probably one of the smoothest flippers uh, that I know of in a production knife. But it's a but the uh, 0095 is an excellent flipper. You'll also see that in the titanium block bar, they've got that uh, uh, steel insert uh, that uh, uh, does a lot for you. Mainly it prevents uh, lock stick. Uh, that steel on titanium uh, engagement uh, is a lot better uh, uh, and won't gall and create lock stick. So uh, yeah, it's got some great, again, great features. Uh, you'll see it has one uh, standoff that's anodized blue. Love blue anodized hardware on knives. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a sucker for blue anodized hardware. And uh, uh, it's uh, fairly simple to disassemble. There's only the one screw here where the standoff is, uh, and then the, the pivot. Uh, unscrew those, and you can disassemble the, the knife uh, to clean and lubricate it, no problem. Again, just all around, really great knife. Two thumbs up. The uh, This Russian market exclusive is a little difficult to get. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to deal with these Russian dealers. Again, read the written photo review. I give you a link to the Russian dealer that I dealt with to get mine. Um, they do speak English. Yahoo, that made it a lot easier. And uh, But it's going to be real expensive by by the time you pay the shipping to uh, to get it back over here to the U.S., uh, you're talking a knife that's nearly double the cost of a normal ZT. But it's worth it. Uh, very rare. And this knife, again, is just so beautiful. Uh, that harpoon blade with all those uh, faceted grinds that they put into it with that brush satin finish. I just love that blade. Uh, it's just fantastic. Again, S35BN blade steel, um, probably one of my top five blade steels. A um, little surprised they didn't use a blade steel that was uh, somewhat more exotic than S35VN. I consider S35VN kind of pedest pedestrian, um, but uh, certainly an excellent uh, blade steel. I probably won't do a lot of cutting with this because it's such a rare knife, uh, but you know I won't mind carrying it. Uh, again, because of the stone wash finish on the, the handle scales. So again, check out the written photo review on Through My Lens and look for the uh, review of the ZT0095 S90 BLK. Um, take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.